history. You got to check your country, read about your history. Great heroes have died for your sake today. Where you are today, it is because of the deaths and the sacrifices of great people. Who knows the future is going to be bright. And they gave their life for you to enjoy the freedom you have today. So you got to respect that and cherish the sacrifices they have made for the nation you are in right now. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, minominak, drummer and a keyboardist. I have been for many many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today, guys, we are back again to new video, guys. I'm gonna see my video for guys. My name is Devan, guys. Today, what we are asking to Star Spangled Banner, as you have never heard it. So this will be our first time giving to try. I'm so going to try with you guys. You know how I do it? Fuck with some of you. Don't worry, that's more. Let's get into this video. Star Spangled. You? Banner, as you have never heard it. Okay. This is a US flag. There was a lawyer once, his name was Francis Scott Key. He penned a song that I'm sure you're aware of. You've seen it, it's in most hymnals throughout our churches. It's called the National Anthem. It is our song as an American. We go, however, to a ball game, we stand in our church services and we sing the words of that song and they float over our minds and our lips and we don't even realize what we're singing. Most of us have memorized it as a child, but we've never really thought about what it means. Let me tell you a story. Francis Scott Key was a lawyer in Baltimore. The colonies were engaged in vicious conflict with the mother country, Britain. Because of this conflict and the protractedness of it, they had accumulated prisoners on both sides. The American colonies had prisoners and the British had prisoners. And the American government initiated a move. They went to the British and they said, let us negotiate for the release of these prisoners. They said, we want to send a man out to discuss this with you. They were holding the American prisoners in boats about a thousand yards offshore. And they said, we want to send a man by the name of Francis Scott Key. He will come out and negotiate to see if we can make a mutual exchange. On the appointed day in a rowboat, he went out to this boat and he negotiated with the British officials. And they reached a conclusion that men could be exchanged on a one-for-one -one basis. Francis Scott Key, jubilant with the fact that he'd been successful, went down below in the boats and what he found was a cargo hold full of humanity, men. And he said, men, I've got news for you tonight, you're free. Hmm. He said, tonight I have negotiated successfully your return to the colonies. He said, you'll be taken out of this boat, out of this filth, out of your chains. As he went back up on board to arrange for their passage to the shore, the admiral came and he said, we have a slight problem. He said, we will still honor our commitment to release these men, but it'll be merely academic after tonight. It won't matter. And Francis Scott Key said, what do you mean? He said, well, Mr. Key, he said, tonight we have laid an ultimatum upon the colonies. Your people will either capitulate and lay down the colors of that flag that you think so much of, or you see that fort right over there, Fort Henry? He said, we're going to remove it from the face of the earth. He said, how are you going to do that? He said, if you will, scan the horizon of the sea. And as he looked, he could see hundreds of little dots. And he said, that's the entire British war fleet. He said, all of the gunpowder, all of the armament is being called upon to demolish that fort. It will be here within striking distance in a matter of about two and a half hours. He said, the war is over. These men would be free anyway. He said, you can't shell that fort. He said, that's, that's a large fort. He said, it's full of women and children. He says, it's predominantly not a military fort. They said, don't worry about it. They said, we've left them a way out. And he said, what's that? He said, do you see that flag way up on the rampart? He said, we have told them that if they will lower that flag, the shelling will stop immediately. And we'll know that they've surrendered 
and you'll now be under British rule. Francis Scott Key went down below and told the men what was about to happen. Love the story. And they said, how many ships? He said, hundreds. The ships got closer. Francis Scott Key went back up on top and he said, men, I'll shout down to you what's going on as we watch. As twilight began to fall, and as the haze hung over the ocean as it does at sunset, suddenly the British war fleet unleashed. <clears throat> he says the sound was deafening. There were so many guns that there were no reliefs. He said it was absolutely impossible to talk or hear. He said suddenly the sky, although dark, was suddenly lit. And he says from down below, all he could hear the men, the prisoners, saying was, tell us where the flag is. What have they done with the flag? Is the flag still flying over the rampart? Tell us. One hour, two hours, three hours into the shelling. Every time the bomb would explode and it would be close to the flag, they could see the flag in the illuminated red glare of that bomb. And Francis Scott Key would report down to the men below, it's still up. Wow. It's not down. Wow. The admiral came and he said, your people are insane. He said, what's the matter with them? He said, don't they understand this is an impossible situation? Francis Scott Key said he remembered what George Washington had said. He said the thing that sets the American Christian apart from all other people in the world is he will die on his feet before he'll live on his knees. Respect! This is good. This Admiral is good. Said, we have now instructed all of the guns to focus on the rampart to take that flag down. He said we don't understand something. Our reconnaissance tells us that that flag has been hit directly again and again and again, and yet it's wow. still flying. We don't understand that. But he said, now we're about to bring every gun for the next three hours to bear on that point. Francis Scott, he said the barrage was unmerciful. All that he could hear was the men down below praying. The prayer. God keep that flag flying hmm. where we last saw it. Hmm. Sunrise came. He Good. said there was a heavy mist hanging over the land, but the rampart was tall enough. There stood the flag, completely nondescript, in shreds. The flagpole itself was at a crazy angle. The flag was still at the top. Francis Scott Key went aboard and immediately went into Fort Henry to see what had happened. And what he'd found had happened was that that flagpole and that flag had suffered repetitious direct hits. And when hit had fallen, but men, fathers, who knew what it meant for that flag to be on the ground. Although knowing that all of the British guns were trained on it, walked over and held it up humanly until they died. Their bodies were removed and others took their place. Francis Scott Key said what held that flagpole in place at that unusual angle were patriots' bodies. He penned the song, Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Or the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that the flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet fly and wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. The debt was demanded. The price 
it was paid. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and Hey, serious, this is strong, guys. I am not a US citizen, but I felt this. This is mm. so touchy. I'm very, very half strong. It has strong meaning, guys, and it is, has really, really strong meaning. That moment he said they died and order came to replace them. It hits me hard. And when the prisoners were praying that the flags, remain where it is guys that's ah i felt something in me different i felt something different to me guys people sacrifice greatly for your nations you gotta value that wherever if you have an independence your nation value that respect that i've never in my life held a story before this is my first time and it really hits me in different parts guys though i'm not a citizen from the u.s but now I understand it way better and I know the real value and the real meaning of the flag and I'm totally going to respect it guys because great leaders have died holding that flag up and it must keep on staying at that height guys it must not drop this is really really touching really touching I have never witnessed or seen any video like this I have never watched any US video like this, but this is different and I love the story behind it, guys. It is really impactful. I respect the song. I respect the composer. I respect the value in it, guys. It is really meaningful for me. It is really meaningful. Now I know the true meaning and I know the value and the impact of that flag, guys. I'm going to keep on giving it the regards it deserves, guys. How is it for you? Sometimes I just feel we are lucky because we came in the area where we have freedom of speech, freedom to yeah. do whatever we want to do, and 
I feel sometimes we just misuse it because we're not in that area where people were restricted and they couldn't do what they also, would really want to do. Watching this, I just want to thank our heroes. I'm not from USA, but I kind of understand it because in my own country, people fought for us and they stood still to make sure we get our own country. So I kind of relate to this song and understand it and I respect and always appreciate independence. People sacrifice to make sure the black the freedom we're enjoying, yeah. They gave us freedom and wow. When they said that they rather stand tall than live on the knees. That hits me. That was really, really strong they, words to use they guys. They actually did it. That hits it's me. not just the words. You got to be brave, the bravery, you got to take the risk guys, our leaders, like, they gave their all guys, we got to respect and value, like, we got to read more about history, you got to check your country, read about your history, great heroes have died for your sake today, where you are today, it is because of the deaths and the sacrifices of great people, who knows the future is going to be bright, and they gave their life for you to enjoy the freedom you have today. So you gotta respect that and cherish the sacrifices they have made for the nation you are in right now. This is really beautiful, guys. Every moment of this was really beautiful. And I love how they put the music at last. It's yeah. made me understand the story That's way better. Story. This is really beautiful, guys. Comment down below your thoughts on your this music house a reaction. Give us a thumbs up, share this video with us. Maybe not subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I 